<sighs> yeah, when you uh, change up your your uh, dimensions or change up something. Hold on one second. When you change up, you know, going local, whatever you, you know, I'm an OTR guy. You, uh, you got to do some crazy stuff. So to get me in the area so I can get on to my loop. They got me doing a nursery load with flowers and all this stuff. So I'm delivering to a store and um, getting rid of these uh, flowers. And I gotta unload the truck. Oh my God, touch of freight, bro. No, 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 no. This right here, it's hot too today. We in uh, South Carolina. This is one of the reasons, uh-uh, I ain't touching no stuff, uh-uh. But I had to get in the zone, I had to get in my loop, so I gotta do what I gotta do, right? Jim and Christmas, so. Yeah. I don't have a ramp, so I don't know. I guess they are gonna get the forklift, and um, they gonna bring it, bring it to me, or they gonna let me go through the door, so we're gonna find out, and uh, I'll let you know. It's about to get real. Look at this crap right here. I don't know what we're gonna do though. <laughs> I'm all out of my element, man. I ain't even started getting unloaded yet. And I'm already like, oh, for like doing this. <laughs> I done got uh, spoiled, lazy, whatever you wanna call it, man. I'm out of my element, yo. I'm just used to backing up to the dock, okay, and letting them unload my trailer. But not today. Today is work in the sun and be hot all day, you know. But um, good thing about it, I got my pre-plan, and if that pre-plan is true, ooh wee! <laughs> Somebody about a dead head, 500 miles, <laughs> get me my money. But uh, yeah, I'm out of my element. Ugh. Dreading my turn, boy. Dreading my turn. Whew. Yeah, so much fun. Two more, two more pallets, on to the next drop. This is a lot of, gotta, yeah, I'm working out here, okay? It's so tight up in here, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Never again. <laughs> Y'all can have this stuff, yo. Y'all can have this. <sighs> really, <clears throat> really not looking forward to getting back there. <clears throat> Four pallets. And it got me tired. <sighs> stop playing, y'all think it, y'all come on now, stop playing, stop playing. It, 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 was, it was fun though, it was fun. Four pallets, pallets I guess, and we got a little bit more to go. I got two more stops today, and then uh, we'll be done, and then uh, we'll be up in Charleston for a little while. Hooray! Stop one complete, on to stop two. Whew, wasn't that bad but whatever, never doing this again. <laughs> All right, let's get up out of here. Can't turn around in here. All this wood, oh my gosh. Wood chips, that is wood chips. Let's see what we can get through here. Ooh -wee. Buddy, man, you local dudes can have this. <laughs> but it's not even a local run for real. This this run this run came from uh came from California. But I'm just saying for local dudes having to deal with these tight spots every day, boy. Uh, uh. Get nice in here, boy. Woo! All right, look at all. Oh man, that better not mess my. But not mess my tires up. Right. Gotta do what you gotta do. This is not a U-turn, okay? This is a turnaround in a controlled environment, okay? <laughs> Disclaimer alert. Disclaimer alert. Get a little wide in there. Get on there, get on there. And see, I got my I have my uh, fifth wheel all the way to the back 
so I'm not really worried about hitting my um, my uh, my fenders back there so I love to have my fifth wheel all the way to the back man I don't I don't like it so close that's just ugh. can't get you can't move around you know what I'm saying I like to move around god damn it all right so that was successful stop number one we're headed to uh, stop number two and make sure everything is good make sure I logged everything because since I had to unload the trailer I had to be on duty okay so I was so we are good to go all right we are good to go Don't mind the windshield, people. Okay, it's summertime. Beetlejuice is out. All right. Hold on one second before we go out here. Make sure everything was secure, which it is. I'm not out in the street, so we're good. Lights are on. Come on, people, let me in. Of course they're not gonna let me in. Why would they do that? I'm a big truck. Big trucks slow people down. We don't want to pull out and just be sitting in the middle of the road, so we got to have a clear shot to um, get over here to the right. Making a left. Nice clean charger, I mean a challenger. Thanks for trying to let me in, buddy, but can't sit out in the middle of the road. I think I got an opening. No, I don't. Had an opening. What you doing there, buddy? Oh, had another opening, but green light. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. We're open. Divine. And you see, I didn't want to have to accelerate too hard because, you know, we want to take care of our truck, you know, so. And here at Stevens Transport, we don't turn on red. So, <laughs> safety first. Even though the traffic's not moving, but now it is. Now it's moving. We got uh, 26 miles to the next stop. And um, we got four pallets to take off there. And then uh, I think the next place is probably like uh, six miles away. Oh, no, it's an hour away. So hopefully I make it. Oh, green light. Adios, amigos. Right to right. Well, hello. But yeah, man. So now I'm I'm in my loop for uh, for my um, for my local slash regional role now. So we'll see how this goes and uh, see how long it, I, I'm on it. You know, the baby should be here anytime soon. So we'll do what we got to do. You know. So. You gotta put yourself in a position where you're able to do what you need to do, you know? That's and not about. take the first exit. Take the first exit, okay. Miles. And not have to worry about anything, you know? So, we are in that position. We can do a lot of things. Yummy! Ha <laughs> ha! Yummy! Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's always the areas close to the water that seem like the brightest, or is it just me? It's like when you get close to the water, everything just looks better. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's that's why I got to the truck, man, to get me closer to the water, give me a house or something by the water, on the water, whatever, and just relax. Because you know where I'm at, I'm in like. Bluffington, whatever it is, Bluffington, South Carolina, probably about five, ten miles away from the uh, from the coast. And it's just beautiful out here, man. The palm trees, all the trees just look so much better. I, I don't know. The trees just look so much better, man. You know? So, speed limit is 45. I'm going 30. Uh, the roundabout is 25, so I'll probably go about 15. Safety first, people. Safety first, you know what I mean? But yeah, looks so much better, man. So much better. Stopping at red lights. Stopping at red lights. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, man. Uh, uh, I gotta get back on my healthy. Okay, I, I'm still healthy, but. You know, every once in a while, I'll dabble in the devil's nectar. And uh, I got to get back into it. And one of the things that is that way that I'm so comfortable and, you know, I'm okay with eating that stuff is because I know the truth. When I mean by knowing the truth, I know that I can heal myself like as soon as possible, you know? So, like, I know. I know I'm strong enough to do the water diet and to eat better. And that's not a good reason, but feet, turn if both lanes turn, turn to left, Island yes, so I need to get over. But, uh, because we don't want to turn from the middle lane. All right, so now we're gonna get over. Just in time for the green light. But yeah, that's not a good excuse to uh, to eat that stuff. But you know, I'm working on changing changing my ways. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, as they say. <laughs> Safe to pass through. Not impeding any traffic. And we're Gucci. Speed limit 45. I think I'm gonna go 40. Cause it's a whole bunch of lights i hate when they have the speed limit especially it's, i forgot where it is but it's like this one place speed limit is 60 oh laredo speed limit is 60 and they got stoplights it's horrible it's horrible man but yeah i gotta get back on my healthy and uh, like i said i know the deal so that's more reason to get stop eating this bad stuff but it's so hard it's so it tastes so good, man. It tastes good. Woo! But anyway, like I said, we got uh got my pre-plan. I don't know. I'm guessing I can just pick it up anytime because what well, is Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and I'm in South Carolina. That is a 500 mile deadhead. Now I know you know some of the owner operator. Oh, I never do that shit. Blah, blah, blah. But at here at Stevens Transport, we get paid for our deadhead miles. And, uh, you know, with it being over, you know, 350 miles, really 400 miles, um, I will get the fuel surcharge. So I'm about to get paid 500 miles empty for $1.30. Okay. And I know that's cheap freight. I know blah, 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 blah. But I'm happy. So that's all that matters, right? Exactly. So, but anyway. I'll be back. I'll probably record uh, at the next stop. But, you know, just wanted to talk. I ain't recorded in a while. I need to get on it. You know what I'm saying? Because YouTube is a business. <laughs> Third and final stop for the day. And this is how I got it set up. And no, I did not come from over there. I had to turn around 
and make sure that my backside is here so they can take it off. Third and final stop. Let's have some fun. <laughs> All right. Day two of this beautiful load. Yeah. Day two. You got three stops and then you got a uh, got three stops and then I'm going by the Creel to see wifey and Los Patarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarotarot
and I'll buy me another one. Well, I won't buy it, I'll use my points. <laughs> Yep, finally got this load, the load from hell, over with. But uh, it was a, a fun experience, man. Uh, you know, when they first gave it to me, pause, I don't know. <laughs> but when they first gave me this load, wow. When they first gave me this Bella Layton, whatever. But uh, I know I'm so immature, sorry. but. When they first gave me this load, they were like, oh, this is a nursery load. And I heard a couple of things about nursery loads. But, you know, my expectation was a lot worse than what it was. You know, I really, you know, if people don't want the nursery loads, I'll pick the nursery loads up from California and take them to South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not the best pay in the world. But at the same time, it's, it's actually, it's, it's not bad. Uh, each stop, you know, the work might have, might, might have took, what, five minutes? And it was like $75 for the first five stops. So for five minutes of work, I got paid $15. You know, so, the, I, life is great, man, so... You know, I'm sure some people will say, oh, my God, they're, they're getting over on you. They're probably. Uh, yeah. OK. You know, thanks. Hey, how about you give me the money that they should be giving me? How about that? You do that and I think we'll be good. <laughs> but like I said, it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad deal. It wasn't that only bad thing was the spots, man. You know, it was not trucker friendly, but we got it done. You know what I'm saying? So. But like I said, it was a cool experience. You know, I, I actually, when they told me about it, I said, yeah, let me go ahead and take it, you know, just to see. I've never, in the two and a half years I've been here, I've never had a nursery load. So what better than now to do it now, you know, hey, let's do it. So, but yeah, as you can see, your boy working hard, or hardly working. I don't know what he doing, but, you know, he doing something out here, you know, losing weight. You know, and uh, this right here helping them lose weight, I guess. You know, so yeah, we, we're doing good here, man. Uh, man. So yeah, we, we're working hard. Got the plants. Um, Lisa had the. Uh, they brought me the pallet jack, and you know, it wasn't a bad deal. When they first gave me, or actually, this is what really scared me. When they first gave me the load, they were like, yeah, man, you're going to have to pick the flowers up and do this. And I'm like, what? And I, like, my mindset was just already just like, man. So, you know, but when I looked through the uh, inspection door, I saw it was on pallets. I'm like, yeah, I don't look like I'm going to have to do that. But, you know, we'll see how, again, we'll just see how it goes, man. You know, we're not going to run away from a challenge. You know, I'm not going to lie. My body was a little sore the second day, but we got over it, got the, um, the, the plants delivered. And now we're in our loop with our uh, regional slash local gig and, you know, waiting for baby number two to come on and uh, grace us with their presence. So, but yeah, I appreciate you watching video this long. Didn't know I made it this long, but hey, it was a. Uh, vlog i guess of my day two days so three you know two days three stops a day six total stops and uh i got paid 35 dollars per stop after the first one plus 75 dollars for the first five stops for tailgate and then 15 dollars a stop which was the extra 15 actually so it was 15 for that last stop so yeah, man, it was it was a, it was a good experience. I wouldn't mind doing it again. It wasn't that bad, now, unless they got some other ones. But if you ain't about that life, man, you better get out that truck.